Hi everyone, I hate that moment when you hit go live and it takes ages to go live. Hope everyone can see and hear me okay because I forgot my other camera, I'm using a new camera, blah 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 blah. Uh, we're going to play Champions League today. There is a new team in the Champions League, I don't know if you can see. It's our bro, our bro. So you can pick any team you want to be today. You can pick any team. I'm going to be our growth. I've got my Ben Williamson top on. And I'm going to be our growth. We kit. You can pick any team you want to be today. The Champions League is dead easy to play. But before we get into the rules, I'm going to let everyone else join and catch up. If you want to say hello in the chat, please feel free. I have access to the chat because I have a setup. If you want to send me videos or pictures, please feel free. If you hear a buzzing in the background, it's the projector powering this, which we need to play Champions League. Uh, if you've not played Champions League before, it's really fun, really fun. I have two watches on, one to count my steps so I can beat everyone at step count challenge, and one to do the, the challenges in Champions League. So, you know, hopefully I don't look like too much of a weirdo. Hopefully. Okay. Um, yeah, you need, definitely need some water today. This is a lot of hard work. So get yourself a drink of water. And uh, yeah, if you want to get yourself warmed up, you can do so. We're going to start in a couple of minutes. So get ready to go. Let me just check and see if I'm live. So I'm going to wait a minute, I will go over the rules of Champions League and then we will start. It is very cold here. Oh, by the way, training was cancelled because of the wind. We tried to set up earlier on, and it was a bit windy, we went, nah. We were worried that we did play, we would wreck the pitch for days. So here we are, in the nice cold YouTube studio. It's probably warmer out there. Okay. Let's go over the rules of Champions League. So, we're going to do two minutes of training on a skill, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have 30 second races. So, on the screen, there will be a score for you to beat. So, if we're doing, for example, side taps, there will be a score for you to beat within 30 seconds, okay? If you beat the score, you're through to the next round of the Champions League. If you don't beat the score, you're still through to the next round of the Champions League, but you have to do a forfeit. And the forfeit will be right down in this bottom corner. And I'll tell you as well, it's pretty difficult to see that. Okay, but be honest and do the forfeit. And at the end of Champions League, the person who's won the most rounds, so who's beat the score or met the score, wins. They are the winner of Champions League. Be honest and do the forfeit though. Because I'm going to do them today, live on YouTube. Scary. Okay, let me just check. Right. So, I don't know if you can see that properly, but the Champions League always begins with the first qualifying round, especially for a team like our road. In the first qualifying round, we've got to do 60 toe taps in 30 seconds. We're going to have a two-minute training session. You always have a training session before a big game. So the training session is going to be, we're just going to tap the ball. So we're going to use our right foot to tap the ball, and then we're going to use our left foot. Now, some of you will be really good at this, so just pick up the speed, pick up the pace, because we have to do 60 of these in 30 seconds. Ooh, tough one. So just go big toe, big toe, big toe, big toe. And if you can, start getting your steps up, so you win the step challenge. And doing this. So keep going. So just take it at your pace as fast as you can do it. Okay? Remember, bend your knees, always the key. Try and keep your back as straight as possible and try and keep your eyes up. Good, keep going, keep going. Good, and stop there. Okay, get your breath back. Told you we need water today. So I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock, and we have to beat 
six there. So one, two, three, four. If you get six day or more, you're fine. If you get less than six day, ten press ups. You're starting off quite tough today, huh? Something must be in a bad mood for missing training. So if you get less than six day, ten press ups. Okay, right. Are we ready? On your toes, bend those knees, set, go. Halfway there. Five seconds left. Time. I got 86, which means I'm okay. Winner. I'm through to the next round. I think I'm knocking myself in the next round. If you got less than 60, do 10 press ups. Ignore the 360 logo. If you got more than 60 or you got 60, you're totally fine. Get yourself a drink. Get ready for the next round. Okay, so next round. Six days, side taps in 30 seconds. And the forfeit this time, if you don't get six days, is 10 burpees. So, side taps. On your toes, bend your knees. Again, big toe to big toe. Instead of the top of the ball, we're just going to hit the side of the ball. So like this, big toe to big toe. So just like this. And again, if you bend your knees and try to keep your back straight, superb. If you can lift your head, superb. If you want to move around, even better. If you choose to, on the spot is fine. This is our training session before the second qualifying round. Do as many as you can. Nice and light on your touches. Okay? Nice and light. I'm so excited. Okay, are you ready for the race? So remember, six day, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay? It's too many rounds in Champions League. Okay. Again, on your toes, bend your knees, get ready to go, set, go. Two seconds extra, which is more than 60, so I'm a winner. If you did not get 60, you have to do a burpee. So down on your knees, hands on the ground, back up in the air. Good luck. I'm not doing any more than one. Get yourself a drink if you need one. And get your breath back. Okay, so the next one is full push or push pull. And if you don't get 30, you don't get 30 of these in 30 seconds. Come on, Kenny. 10 quad jumps. I hate quad jumps. Oh man. Okay, so basically, one foot on the ball. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the bottom of your foot and your laces. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the ball back, push it out, swap feet, 
Pull the ball back, push it out, swap feet, pull, push, pull, push, pull the ball back, push it. So, bottom of your foot pulls it back, and then your laces pushes it, catch it with the bottom of the foot again, pull it back, push it. So, pull, push, and if you get on your toes, you get a nice little rhythm. But you will need to get 30 of these in 30 seconds. Just like dancing, kind of. We're pulling the ball back and pushing it out, or we're pushing it and pulling it if you like to do that. It's up to you, up to you. Same, same thing. But if you get on your toes and bend those knees and bounce, you'll be fine. Totally fine. This is a good one for your balance and your rhythm. If you can move about and do it, do that. I cannot, so I will not. Keep practicing. So again, pulling it back. And push it out. Pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. What round is this coming? Oh, we're in the group stages. It's match day one. So pull, push. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Pull, push. And again, on your toes, bend those knees. Head up if you can. And keep doing it. Good fitness. And stop there. So give yourself a little shake, shake it out. 30 of these in 30 seconds. So one is back, up, back, up. That's two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Easy as that. Are we ready? On your toes, bend your knees, set, go. I've got 10, it's 10 seconds gone as well. Ten seconds left. Oh. Yes, that me. Thank you. Time. I think I got 36. I lost count. Got more than 30 though. Pure I did. Okay, so you got less than 30. Squat down, make sure you need to point now, and then jump in the air. And that's the only one I'm doing. Uh, just do as many as you can. It's just fun. And if you are playing along, make sure you put your score in the chat. Well, I can see it. And I can see if I'm doing better than you or not. Okay, next one. It's my favorite one. So it's going to be inside, outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the inside of one foot. Sorry, no, we're not getting. We're going to use the outside of one foot and then the inside of the same foot. Then we're going to swap feet outside, inside, outside, inside. Now you can do it moving if you like. You've got a big space, you've got a small space. Just do it on the squat if you want. So outside, inside, outside, inside. So outside right. Oh, start that one again. So outside right, inside right. Outside left, inside left. Outside right, inside right. Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Again, if you're on your toes and your knees a bit, you'll be able to move and shuffle side to side really easily. So outside right. Inside right, outside left, inside left, outside, inside, outside, inside. Easy as that. Easy as that. And how many of these we've got to get? 15. So this is going to be one, outside, inside. This is two, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. But messy, huh? But not good messy, bad messy. So, outside of the foot, my jokes are getting worse. Inside of the foot, outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Just like that. And again, if you've got the space, it's always better to do this moving. If you don't have the space, that's okay. 
But if you're confident, you can throw it a little sun and you can go again the other way. Entirely up to you. This is just for fun. So, ready? So, this is one, and that's two. Okay, I'll just do it standing here. I don't have a big space. Are we set? Got to get 15. Are we get a 20 second plank, it looks like? Go. Shift your weight, shift your weight up on your toes. Ten seconds left, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five seconds. And time. I think I got 18. Good for me. If you got less than 15, you have to do a 20 a 10 second one, not a 20 second one, a 10 second one. Hopefully you got that. Keep practicing that. You go out in the garden later, try that moving. If you don't smash into a wall, it's a good one to practice. Get yourselves a drink. Move on to the next one. Okay. Next one's a little bit harder. We're going to start doing some combos. So next one we're going to go right, left, Outside right, inside right, outside left, inside left, right, left, outside, inside, outside, inside, right, left, outside, inside, outside, inside. So just combining two of the moves we did earlier on, just so we can get a bit of rhythm, balance, and coordination. Again, you can do this moving even better. So right, left, outside, inside, swap feet, outside, inside. You can even change it. Left, right, outside, left, inside, left, outside, right, inside, right. Easy as that. We've only got to do 10 of those. So it should be easy enough. Same advice as before. On the toes, bend the knees. So one, two, outside, inside, Outside, inside. One, two. Keeping your balance, keeping your coordination, getting up a little bit of rhythm. Just like that. Hopefully you're managing. Okay, we've got to do 10 of those, so one, two, outside, inside, outside, inside is one. Okay, this is going to be the difficult, it's the forfeit. Oh, just 10 hops. 10 hops on the spot. Not so bad. Let's try our best though. I think I'm getting inspiration uh, wearing the Ben Williamson shirt. Maybe. Okay, are we ready? Are we set? Go. Yes, I've got one. Three I've got now. Three I've got. Four. Four, five is going to be close. So bouncing on one leg and just hop over to the other. Nice and easy. But I might probably could do it. Okay, get yourselves a drink. We go on to match day four. How am I doing for time? This is when I start to go off a cliff. Really easy one, next one. 
All we're going to do is we're going to use one foot and we're going to roll the ball towards the other foot. So we're going to go roll towards our other foot and stop. So when I'm rolling it, I'm just going to go over the top of the ball and stop. I'm not punching the ball into the ground because then it'll go like that. I'm just lightly making contact with the ball. Roll, stop. Roll, stop. Oh. So again, bend those knees up on your toes. Roll the ball away from the defender and stop. Defender's coming. Roll it away from the defender and stop. So just over, stop. Over, stop. Over, stop. Always roll the ball towards your other foot, the one you're not using. So you can do this and stop it. But don't drag the ball like that so your feet get crossed. Okay? Just roll it. If you're on your toes, you be able to lift your other foot really quickly. So roll, stop. Roll, stop. Just like this. And how many of those have we got to do? We're not doing 50 of those. Let's do 10 of those. So a roll and a stop is one. And a roll and another stop, two. Okay? So let's go and race. So are we ready? Set. Just ten. Go. Halfway there. Five seconds. Time. I got 22 or something. I don't know. I don't know. If you've got less than 10, you do 10 press ups. Up. Like the Hulk soon, we lost every round. So I've won six rounds. Go me. Okay. Last 16, now we made out of the group. Funny Champions League this year. What we're going to do, well, we'll have a different one. We're going to do one, two, three, four, roll, stop. And then we're going to go straight into it again. One, two, three, four. Roll, stop. So if I use my right foot first, I'm going to roll with my right foot. So I'm going to go right, left, right, left, roll, left, right, left, right, roll, right, left, right, left, roll, left, right, left, right, roll, one, two, three, four, roll, one, two, three, four. So it's just the two moves we were doing earlier on. So the insides, one, two, three, four. And also we're going to do that little roll that we did. And again, if you do this, you're never going to hit your feet. Sort of in time. The next part. So can we go? One, two, three, four. Roll and straight back into it. One, two, three, four. Roll. One, two, three, four. Roll. And we only have to do 10 of them in 30 seconds. So let's do a little bit more practice. One, two, three, four, roll. One, two, three, four, roll. Make sure you're on your toes and your knees are bent. Makes it a lot easier. One, two, three, four, roll. One, two, three, four, roll. Now I'm getting knackered. And so on. Okay, are we ready to race? What's the border? 10 burpees. Come on, let's get 10 of these. 30 seconds, no problem. Easy as that. Yes, I've got 6,000 steps now. I'm going to win the step challenge tonight. Okay, are we ready? I'm going to start with my right, which means I'm rolling right. If you start with your left, you're rolling left. Don't roll into the wall. 
set, go. So one, two, three, four, and roll is one point. Ready? Set, go. I've got two, three, four. Just keep your balance, keep your rhythm. Not like me. Five seconds left. Time. I got more than ten. I lost count. If you're playing along, put your score in the chat. If you got less than ten, you've got to do ten burpees. I'm not demonstrating again. Get yourself a drink. Get ready for the next one. Okay. We go apply into the next round of the Champions League. So, next one's quite difficult. All we're going to use is the inside of our feet. So, just the inside. And what we're going to do is, we're going to knock the ball to one side. So, I'm going to use my right and I'm going to knock it to the left. And then we're going to go around the front of the ball in a step over motion. So, it's not feet together and round it like that. It is knock the ball, round the front of the ball like that, and then over like this. So knock the ball one way, round the front of the ball like that. So if you find yourself bringing your feet together, close together like that, that's not what we're doing just now. We are knocking the ball and then over. And then knocking the ball then over. Like so. And we're just practicing our fix. Okay? So if you're knocking the ball, you might want to do it a bit quicker than me. So get the ball rolling so it doesn't stop rolling. And don't crash into the wall. Like try and get on your toes. And bend your knees so you can get right over and fake, really fake. It's okay, you're not live on YouTube doing this. I am. Just like that. And make sure the ball is always rolling when you do it. So again, you're coming around the front of the ball with the same foot you've just touched the ball with. So right, and then the right comes around the front of the ball, like that. It's pretty easy when you get the hang of it. Pretty difficult when you're just starting. So. Knock the ball while it's rolling, we're going to step over for a point. And we need to do 15 of those in 30 seconds. Wow. Or we get a 10 second mark. Wish this thing would make up its mind. So again, get the ball moving and over. Get the ball moving and over. Over. And if you're on your toes, you can quickly adjust your hips to change direction. I'm going this way, I fake, and now I'm going that way, and I fake. Easy, good one for you to practice. Okay, we're almost there. Are we ready? Set, go. Yes, I've got five already, just 15 to get, two, three, four. What's oh, annoying when I can't have been Six. If you make a mistake, that's fine. Just get your ball back and continue. Time. I got 15. I think someone's cheating. If you didn't get 15, that was a high number. You do a 10 second black, get yourself a drink, get ready for the next one, and I repeat, mistakes are fine. In fact, mistakes are brilliant. You make a mistake, just get your ball, think about why you made the mistake, and try it differently next time. Or just try again, just try and try again. Okay? There's nothing wrong with making a mistake.
Okay. Semi-finals. Andros in the semi-finals. What we're going to do is we're going to do a pullback V. So right foot on the ball, and I'm going to pull that ball back towards my left foot. And at the same time, I'm going to hop onto my right foot, push it up with my left foot, and catch it. So once again, I'm going to draw the letter V or B, depending on your age, like this with the ball. I'm drawing it with the ball on the ground, okay? So back, hop, push it up, catch. Back, hop, push it up, catch. Back, hop, push it up, catch. So back, up, just like so. Make sure you're turning those hips all the way. All the way. Open it out your body. Okay? So once again, just using the bottom of your foot to pull it back. And then we hop onto the foot we just used to pull it back. And then we use the side of the foot to push it up. And then we use the bottom again. So back, hop, push. Back, hop, push. Just like that. Okay? If you know how to do it, Try and do it with your head up, try and do it moving. Oh, try and do it better than me. Back up. Just like so. Make sure you're really twisting your hips so you can change direction. Okay? Hopefully everybody's got that. We need to do 10 of those in 30 seconds. So back, up, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the worst pullback V's ever. Hopefully yours is better than mine. Okay. Once again, bottom, pull it back and push it up. Catch. That's one point. And the trick is, when I'm using this leg to pull the ball back, I need to hop onto that leg so I can get my other leg up to push the ball. We're just drawing that V, okay? Are we ready? Good luck. Set. Go. Halfway there. Think about the weight of your touch as well. You've got to push the ball in front of you. You push it too hard, you'll be chasing it. Too soft, and you won't get your feet up in time. Two seconds left. Time. I got I don't know, 90, I think. I got more than 10, though. That's the main thing. If you didn't get more than 10, you've got to do 10 hops. 10 hops. So that was the semi-final first leg. That means we've got two rounds to go. The second leg, and then the final. It's been a long season. Get yourselves a drink. Oh, can't believe I used to do this every morning. That was a long time ago. Tell you what though. The boys and girls that did do this with me every morning, what a difference I've seen when you came with football. It's got lovely little touches and you can control the ball with all parts of your feet. It's good to see. It's really good to see. Right, sure, Kevin. Okay. Next one, we're going to do an L turn. So that was a V turn. Now we're going to do an L turn or a seven turn. So what we're going to do is right foot on the ball and we're going to pull the ball back and then we're going to nutmeg ourselves. So we're going to go right. Right, left, roll the ball forward. And then we're going to go left, left, right, roll the ball forward. So bottom of the right foot pulls it back. Inside of your right foot pushes it through your legs. Bottom of the left foot catches and then rolls it forward. That roll forward is so important because if I don't roll the ball forward, I end up just smashing into the thing that's behind me. So I go back, across, catch, roll forward. And then back, across, catch, roll forward. Back, across, catch. And also simulates the movement again. Because you would probably pull the ball back away from a defender 
and do that. So the roll forward is really important. Okay, one tip, one quick tip. If you're doing that and hitting your standing leg, just move that out of the way to the back. And when you pull the ball back, watch this leg. Jump it forward so you can do that. Did it without looking. Okay, little well, tip for you. And you keep hitting your standing leg. Also on your toes, so back, across, catch, roll forward, back, across, catch, roll forward. And if you're on your toes, you just get a little bit of a rhythm, and you just do that move over and over again. One little tip rope. Back, across, catch, eyes up, roll forward. Back, across, catch, eyes up, roll forward. Okay, really important, very, very important. Okay. So this is a point, back, across, catch, roll forward. That is one point. And we have to get 10 of those to get to the final. Okay, are we ready? We're almost there. Almost there. Are we set? Go. I've got one, two, three. Paranoid of smashing into the wall. Oh, keep count, folks, keep count. Ten seconds left. I've got twelve. Time. I got fourteen. If you got less than ten, you do ten hops. Don't need a man of the hops. Okay, that's the semi-finals done. This just means we've got the final. We're not doing 20 of these. Who made this? Okay, so the final is pretty tough. We're going to start on one side. So I would start on your strongest side. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the L turn, which is practice. So back, across. But this time, instead of the catching it, you're going to do the pullback V that we practiced. So L, V. So right, right, left, left. Or if you want to, left, left, right, right. I'll tell you what. If you start on your weak foot, you can get 10 points. So we will do 20. If you start, if you do your weak side, then I'll give you an extra 10 points. Okay? So back, across, pull back, V. Back, across, make sure you open your hips and pull it back and change direction. Okay? L, V. L, we've got Ben Lines to demonstrate this. He's the master at it. Yep. And all we've got to do is 10 of those in 30 seconds. Easier said than done. So once again, we're just doing our L turn and then our V turn. So back, across, open out your body to change direction. Okay, I think everybody's got it, right? Everyone wants their food now. Okay, so one point for back, across, and remember if you start on your weak side, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, are we ready? Said okay like a hundred times as well, huh? Set. Go. Yes, I've got one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway there. Ten, five seconds left. Time. Oh, I got twelve. Well done if you got more than ten. If you didn't get more than ten, you've got to do ten hops again. Well, we must have got a thousand touches of the ball there. Well done. 
If you did win the Champions League, you can celebrate. Then have a picture of our both winning the Champions League, maybe a couple of seasons time. But there's Liverpool winning there. And if you did win it, very good. Well, if you did join in as well, well done. Because it's easy your training's off just to sit on your Xbox. But I think we've had over a thousand touches of the ball. Easy, so well done. Uh, you only get better if you touch the ball. It's a fact. We all did, we, all we did here was balance, rhythm, and coordination stuff, get those feet working together. And I really enjoyed it. I need to go and lie down now. So, folks, thank you very much. I'll probably see you at the next training session. Cheerio.